Right, um, I'm going to go over a few pointers on how to increase your opt-in rates, your conversion rates, um, how to increase your quality, quality scores and uh, get those cheaper clicks. Now, um, this is your standard squeeze page, as you can see. And this is what most people would probably start with, to be fair. However, if you... If you're searching for something online and you, so you're on Bing and you've you've seen an ad, you click on the link and you, you come to this page. Well, you can see, you can read it in a, in a couple of seconds, and either you're interested or you're going to hit the back button. Now, the length of time you are on a web page actually affects your quality score because if people if people are constantly hitting the back button. Um, after landing on your page, Bing will take note of this and he'll think that your pages aren't relevant to your ad and, and um, your quality score will go down because it com your quality score is compared to all the other advertisers in your niche, in your, well, in your same keyword, right? So you are competing against the other advertisers. That is what your quality score reflects, okay? So you, Sometimes you might need to increase the length of time somebody's actually on your page. Now, there's a few uh, easy ways to do this. One is to, and I love doing this. This is inside Insta Builder. Just click on that, delete that. We don't want that. Yeah, delete that. We get one of these questions box. Add it there. Right, what this is is creating a survey type landing page. All right. So you only want to ask two or three questions, and you want to, you've got to play around with it so it's all like level. So I'll get rid of a couple. I want the questions to be level with that picture. So I'll just click on it. Remove. Remove some of them. All right. That's better so you could just ask simple questions um so this looks like a diet offer clearly keeping fit or something um let's just ask Oops. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Okay, boom. All right. So you got your headline. Answer a simple question. Right, want to so add a few more questions so you just click on that i'll save this setup we'll just ask two more questions turn that to three up there I'll click back on there again get to the next question and again oops do it get rid of that you can have two or three questions it's up to you how many you have um Have you oops. oops bit this helps if you can spell I think that's right okay the simple It. and then go on to the next one I won't, I won't do that just for the sake of this video but I'm sure you get the hang of it now and then the last one this is where the results come in so what you can put in here you could either put in your 
an opt-in box so after they've answered the questions you opt in or if you want to send them to the offer so this is might be a, a pre what we call pre-sell page um you just put in a, a button for them to go to so Oh, you've yeah. got to delete the wrong damn thing. Look. Let's try again. Let's try again. Okay. Okay, publish that. All right, let's preview that. Okay, so now instead of an opt in box, we have to answer a few questions. Obviously, going to play around with this and make it a bit look a bit better. So we have to, yes, exercise before, yes, that's one of them. Boom. Well, that's it. So this could either be an opt in box here or uh, a link straight to your offer that you're promoting but have you seen how much extra time that adding those simple steps takes not only does that increase your the time somebody's actually on your site which increases your helps increase your quality score but it also those little micro steps actually increase your conversions because the, you've got the You've got their engagement you've got them more committed to actually clicking here and going on to the offer all right and um, some more techniques is here's one this is like a pre-sell lander so you because you don't want to be you might not want to build an email list you just say there's a lot of offers that just send straight to the offer okay i don't directly as you know but i send straight to it a product called pre-sell page call to action like that you click on that to go to go straight to the offer but what you do is okay you've got all this up here this is the first thing they see but down here look you've got some you can add benefits and then some testimonials and another call to action this is all for this is another um insta build a page this is a template that comes with it just play around with it you don't need a logo if you uh, by the way if you need any logos to it let me know um there's a guy i use on fiverr and he did all our logos for the cpa lead machine and the pay-per-click step my pay-per-click steps website and um, absolutely fantastic only a fiverr five dollars and the quality is exceptional uh, so if you want his link i'll just email me i'll send you it all right but um you don't need to have your logo up there but i'm just giving you examples of what you can what landing pages have to be they not have to be there's nothing complicated about them all right just keep it simple you could even put an underneath the uh, an article like a review type article of the product you're selling with opt-in boxes, you could place opt-in boxes. Just play around with it, you know. But all these, these people have to scroll down and read, and you got more context for the. You're just spending more time on your site, which increases your. It can make a difference with your uh, quality scores. All right. Let me show you another one. There's another example. Again, you don't need a logo if you don't want to. This is just another uh, Insta Builder template. You could have a pre sell video, like a review type video, and this gets started. You could have it send them to an opt in box, it could have an opt in box pop up, or you send them straight to the offer. But then again, we've got some more information from down here. Okay, pre sell them, you're pre selling them before you're sending them on to the offer. Can you see what the difference is between direct linking and using a landing page? You you pre-sell you you get them you that's why they call pre-sell you pre-sell them before you're sending them straight to the um offer your conversion rates will go up i assure you of that 
there will be a lot more a lot higher than these guys that are just direct linking so i hope this has helped you um give you some idea of what to do with your landing pages don't it's not complicated i mean especially if you've got something like insta builder i mean look it created a survey page in no time at all length this video all right so there's no excuses really it's cheap as chips this insta builder it's absolutely fantastic but you know, you, you just need simple landing pages all right and you'll, you'll be good to go oh one important thing you must have um a link right at the bottom somewhere on the bottom with your terms terms and conditions and your privacy policy especially a privacy policy all right and a contact to us all right you do need those links for bing or so they will it might even shut your camp down if you don't have them so please make sure you do have them at the bottom of your page all right